the stall is happy. Open her cloth and mama is well. All is very well. Good to see everybody this morning. All right, uh, yeah, I'm calling me to work on the clock. And uh, Todd, would you do the invocation for us, please? Sure. Lord, we give thanks for this amazing day. Lord, we thank you for all those who come here today to make Ladonia a better place, to make businesses thrive, and give opportunity for our children. Lord, uh, we ask your blessing today on the things that we're trying to do. Lord, all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. New members, new members today that's coming this week. Now, also, uh, on new membership, I'm going to uh, remind everybody that uh, it's time to renew your memberships. So do that online or with one of the officers or anything. Uh, we'll be glad to do that for you and get our memberships renewed. So, um, Okay, next, uh, the minutes. Has everyone had a chance to review them, or would you like me to read them quickly? Does anybody want me to read them?
did it right now. It, Diane's brother passed away the other day, so would you please keep her and her family uh, in your prayers, please? And also, you know, our mayor and her husband are going to continue our prayers. Jimmy and Rhonda, because we just had a lot to read. Okay. Did you say Rhonda? Not Rhonda, but Jimmy. Jim had open heart surgery. <laughs> Thank you. And our prayers too. Um, so moving on then to the school update. December 2nd, 2023. Short-term plans, flower pots on the square, repainting, and possibly plant yuccas. Official work day will be April 1st, and that's not a trick. <laughs> we'll call it uh, a potting party. Long-term plans to ask the city for a property for a city park. Adopt a highway. First cleanup will be Saturday, March 11th, 2023. We will need to schedule three additional cleanups. And she has a side note here on, on the red yuccas available at Steve's Nursery. About one gallon pots are $12.95 each. The four gallon pots are $28.95 each. That's it. Do we have any discussion on that? Or do we have a I have a question. Is there a special time to purchase the plants if that's what everybody's going to go with? Because a lot of times if it's a real popular plant, Actually, it gets sold out real fast. So I was wondering if there was a time frame. We had discussed that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anything about yuccas. So. <laughs> they do sell out quickly, so I would recommend buying them when they're available and babysitting them till we till we actually plant. If that's what we want to do. You're only going in pots? Yeah, around the square. <laughs> so how many do we need? 
possible because my rotary cuff is injured. So, hope for better for it. You think about a bag of bottom sole or hot? Not to break in the bag, but just to. I don't know, I think I was in a big bag. They're pretty deep, that's not something. Yeah. I don't know if that would take them all in the bag. And now, yucca is a succulent, isn't it? No, so it's a hard, it's a very hardy <laughs> Texas plant. So would you need yeah. a special soil for that? Uh, it just really needs like a sandy type, sandy. something that drains. It doesn't want to be sitting in water for sure. But it's very, it's a very hardy plant. Once they get established, they can go through all different kinds of weather. So we need uh, a committee or something <coughs> to be able to up and, uh, and also have a motion is made to approve. Where's the Where's the Where's the It's in Bristol. Um, you know where the Walmart is? It's out past Walmart going toward cash. I'll be more than happy to pick them up along with the soils. Okay. I didn't bring my truck and trailer over there. Okay. I'll put you to work. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, we, we can be, I love to be, so <laughs> what, um, but the thing is the time frame, I mean, Yeah, but we're going to ban, they'll be planted before June. Okay. 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 So we all call the pick those up, and then mm -hmm. we'll get the <coughs> uh, We need a motion to, 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 to purchase. A motion that we buy the yucca plants and the soil to redo the pots. And, and then we're, we're going to do the, the four gallon ones? I think the one gallon is probably going to be sufficient. They are very, I mean, you can start with just a little piece of a roof and have eight plants by the end of the summer. Okay. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure if the red yet was as prolific as the green. I mean, you can't get rid of the green. Um, maybe we do need somebody looking to do it. The red the red will be good. Okay. Yeah. I have them in pots in front of my house, so they've gone through all this weather and it's not going. Okay. And I even left babies out there last year. I mean, I planted some from seed just to see what it would happen. And we can add seed. I've got extra seed, so we can add some seeds when we pot just to, you know, see if the little ones come up too. Would they fill out on that size really quick? I wouldn't say real quick, but something that's better than one plant. Well, would you recommend one gallon or four gallon? Well, if I had, if the sky was the limit, I'd say get the big. Big one and be done with it, not worry about it. But you know, what if you're on a tight budget? Then yeah, the one gallon would be fine. Do you want me to see what we have budgeted? We haven't approved the budget yet. Um, can we talk about that? Yeah, we have.
Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. The only catch was when that may allow us. I wanted them to somehow get some out and decide whether they like it or not. Yeah. So that we can go ahead and make another order. And now. Yeah. Order. Order. yeah. So that they were here long before right. school starts next yeah. year or the next year. And you know, obviously, that's a super inconvenient. I've got a whole bunch of other people who are real mad about it. Mm -hmm. So I got other things on my boat. Oh, no. Same boat. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, so TV, just TV. ASAP. I was hoping to have it today. Literally, <coughs> have today, but I'm so sorry. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, David. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you. Excited about it. Um, okay. Next on the agenda then is signs for the building, Russell. So these are the. I thought I had three inches up here. So these are the final proofs. Um, you want to handle these one at a time, that way if anybody has sure. any. So that's the Chamber of Commerce of Ladonia. That's the one that will go in the center, the two window. Uh, anybody see anything? Good, good, hard work. I thought it looked really good. Yeah. Can you see it? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's good. All right. It's very nice. All right, so I'm making a motion that we approve this one for our official printed logo. Nice Okay, Russell's made the motion. Oh, I made the motion that we were interested. Sorry. Okay, Diane. Okay, Russell's made the motion. 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 Okay, Diane. Okay, Russell's made the
I then uh, went on, then we'll do uh, with the 2023 budget. Uh, we had tabled it because the cost of the specific insurance, you know, had that available, and um, the Christmas break on the days for an offer off sale. And uh, I guess, do we have any discussion on that? Or, uh, go ahead and Set the budget or on the last, on ahead. the last piece that I know we were waiting to check out that piece. You said there was one other one in there. I couldn't hear you. Besides the umbrella policy, that's that kind of stuff that's still open for advanced insurance. Advanced. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You said something after that. I actually couldn't. Hear. Well, it was uh, for uh, specific, specific <coughs> insurance. You know, for the. Mm. No, no, I don't. Okay. Okay. Was there something the, else? I thought I heard something no, about it. Okay. No, it was just for the events. All right, so here's what we're talking about. We're talking about a $22,350 proposal, okay? Which is up, I think, double, almost double from last year. I make a motion that we approve this budget as is understanding that we will have to make a future adjustment once we get the cost for the insurance and vote on that separate of this proposal. Okay. Thank you, Brandon. He's made that motion. Do we have a second on Brandon's motion? I second that. Okay. I am to second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. No, oh, thank you. Now I can get this in the truck. Yeah, well, we get okay, thank you, Brendan. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, next on the agenda is the chamber banquet, <coughs> which is going to be March the 25th, 2023. Uh, Jan got the, the, the cafeteria in, so we have that. Um, Jan also talked to Upper Trinity and they will take care of our speakers, one being the expert that the fish, the fish guy, I don't know what to call him. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I was, yeah, I was to talk to Jason Pierce, and uh, he, I was going to talk to Blake Aldridge, who's also with the Trinity. He's over the water education. Uh, he's the coordinator for that. But they're also going to speak with the Texas Wildlife Department, the ones that actually or, you know, did fish, you know, did fish. So he was going to get back with us as regarding uh, a speaker for that. A couple of speakers. Yeah, he just. And we'll. And Tom Lemon? Yeah. What I don't do think they should speak over 20 minutes. And if we have two, then we need to break them up and do one towards the beginning and one kind of later. <coughs> 40 minutes of talking is a long time. <laughs> and we have one of them speak very good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just to break it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, and Cheryl has a friend from high school who's going to be our entertainment. What's his name? Um, his name is Brent Rosell, and I don't really know him. We just went to the same high school. But I know a lot. I have some friends there. Are some friends there. But anyway, he's he's from Dallas, and uh, he agreed to come out and, and sing for us. And we and we are paying him uh, three hundred dollars to come out and do that. Um, uh, we also kind of decided what the um, menu should be. Uh, Chamber is buying the meats. Todd is cooking. I'm sure you could probably have some need some help with that. Uh, but we're having chicken and his famous brisket. Then I got a tentative from uh, Leslie that they would do the side the sides, and it'll be pig potatoes, uh, baked beans, and I'm going to talk to her about making those vegetarians. And then it's coleslaw, and then we'll bring some vegetable trays. And then, um, as usual, we normally will bake the desserts and bring them. Uh, and then we'll buy Hawaiian rolls and iced tea. Behind, uh, 
Well, I don't know. Cheryl had a good point. We don't have to eat those, so we won't have to be looking for a place to eat those uh, and keep them. Um, in lieu of, this is the tickets. And in lieu of um, the door prizes, each one of these has like a little extra tab on it. And I'm either going to write or put a little fish sticker or something on this. And instead of having the drawing, we're going to do a goldfish pond. So everybody gets to pull something out of the goldfish pond instead of just having a drawing. Is there going to be somebody under a table attaching stuff? So. We're going to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. Like when you were a kid. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Or bags with hooks. You can do that. Like you do a bag and put a pot cleaner, and then they can hook the bag and pull it up. Um, we talked about other, doing a few other little games, but haven't decided on that. Uh, like a, a single way I don't know how to work it out. So we talk about a duck pond and a ring toss, but I'm not totally sure if we're going to do that. Um, decorations will just be <coughs> things to do with uh, fishing and camping and the lake. And um, we need and auction items. Gonna, yeah, we need auction items. Things that I'm kind of out of the pool with on your history stuff. I have um, Doug's daughter-in-law looking because they're going through his things, getting ready for his fifth state. So I asked her to kind of keep an eye out for something that people would be interested in. Um, and I'm hoping Cheryl will make a painting. And, um, and I'll come up with some. Uh, yeah, but we just need cool things. How about that yellow sunflower? <laughs> please, please, nothing that looks like a partner painting for the one that was sold last year. At <laughs> yeah, that that calls Russell. <laughs> or or maybe she paid. In my case, it's not it. I think that's all, but we got to get out there and try to sell tickets. I mean, our goal is always to get 100 people because that's about the max we can get in the cafeteria. Had a great turnout last year. Um, and each year, I think, oh, it's just not going to be as good. But <laughs> it turns out. So we're we'll we'll just get out and sell us tickets. $30 a ticket. And it is at 6.30 <clears throat> p.m. at the high school. And I think that's all that. Well, why would you like donations to you, Because I'm going to put some pull some stuff together. We, we take them up until that morning. Because, okay. you know, sometimes people procrastinate. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything specific I'm looking for? Or, you know? It. Really, it, it, we're, we're hoping to have a live auction. Jeremy's interested in, so he's had a lot of illnesses. He's, he's not been in good health and uh, so that's the only caveat that we have there. If he's there, he'll, if, if we've got some items, his, things from the area, anything history related tends to go extremely well. Um, the other thing is, you know, we'll, we'll hit up the judges, Judge Blake's stuff really goes well. Yeah, baked goods go well. Um, yeah, some of the baked goods go well. Yeah, especially when they're like from the judges and then the brand will we'll sell a cake for $400 or something. Some of that. So you got some favorite yeah. person who wants some a great cook. And it's all right. Well, Janet, 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 Janet,
go for the value where if you can get it out and you show it and you have people bidding against each other, then you can actually, yeah, well, make yeah. it worth somebody's mm -hmm. time and Yeah, any of the artistic stuff also has a tendency yeah. to bring more in with the uh, what, what about like tickets, <laughs> gift cards, anything like that? Not really. We'd probably put those in the side of an auction. That's fine. Yeah. I was yeah. just kind of getting an idea. Yeah. yeah. That would be great. Gift bag type or baskets of okay. stuff tends to go well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, pretty well. Like a, not last year they had one that was like Italian cooking and had some different stuff in it. And yeah. I will be doing those things. Mm -hmm. like yeah. You can't put one. But I'll take your wine myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could put like a little receipt for the wine, but it being in the school because I had yeah. that great idea once. <laughs> <laughs> I will find a use for the wine. Yeah. I've got <laughs> it, but I can stuff. Also, just because the theme is not fishing, we've been doing a lot of clothing for fishing mm -hmm. companies, yeah. like Google, which is yeah. famous. So I'll get some hoodies and t-shirts oh, and stuff like that for the new cycle auction. I've also been doing a lot of like lounge and pajama sets and stuff, so I'll get some of those and well, put them then. together and keep them with coffee cups yeah. and stuff like that. So I'll do some of those. Thank you. That's the thing I can do. Thank you. Actually, be in town a little bit. Do that. Any auction items will take on that day or before be here, yeah. be here. I mean, I'll get in touch with me or somebody. Yeah, if you want to get them to us before that, please let us know. We'll be glad to meet you and pick those up. Um, okay. So, anything else on your life with you?
security guard or somebody. Yeah. Yeah. They won't hire yeah. the dollar yeah. table. It's a security guard. They won't hire I, I understand that too, but that would be their responsibility. Uh, on top of that, uh, you can't get a uh, sheriff's department here. You can also call a constable. Uh, you know, okay. a free constable. So uh, and I want to make sure they got that number. Would yeah. Honey Grove police come out here? No. no. They they want to to but our constable, yeah. they get a better Do you have an agreement with the sheriff's department? If they can't come out, then Honey Grove. It, it's call a them shame. Them to come out. This girl is this girl is bad, and she's walking with a child. And I'm thinking, this is what you're raising. Right? Unfortunately, yes, it has been a big problem lately. So, um, and when you're yes, I'm sorry. I, I just want to introduce myself. My name is Christy Kovic. I'm the new uh, president of the Honey Grove Chamber of Commerce. I love your meeting. I'm totally stealing some of your organizational ideas. <laughs> I love memory prompts. Anything that reminds me what I'm supposed to be doing. But um, I just, you know, wanted to come and whatever we can do that you folks might like to partner with, I would very much like to do it. I will be very honest. I am very new to the area. I got the job because I was the only one that had that much time <laughs> to be able to do it. But I am absolutely in love with this whole place. Um, I grew up a military kid, so I got to live all over the world. But I got to tell you, a small town is the closest thing to a military base that you guys that, that you can find. So I, I just really wanted to have an open door and. If, if we can do anything for you, please let me know, and vice versa. I, I've been to many of your events, and I just absolutely love them, the, the, the fun and the warmth and the whole thing. So again, I just wanted to introduce myself, and, and thank you so very much for allowing me to join you today. Well, Chris, yeah. I apologize for not having introduced you at the beginning of the meeting. Oh, no, ma'am. No, thank you for coming. And we I oh, listen, Honey Grove, uh, you know, we love them, and y'all have a lot of good events going on up there. Oh, too. yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All the time. So it's, and I think we're both due for some big changes with these yeah. lakes going up, mm -hmm. and good, bad, and, you know, we'll just have to all see what happens and make sure we, we stay true to who we were and are. Yes. So. Thank you very much. When are your meetings with the chamber? Um, unfortunately, we don't have ours set uh, as nicely as you guys do. Um, it's something that we're going to be um, we're going to be addressing because, unfortunately, and I don't know if you guys struggle with the same problem. Uh, we fight kids' sports. Most of our folks that would be willing to come are are doing sports and. Uh, the suggestion that had come before was to do a breakfast style meeting because sometimes it's easier to find time first thing in the morning than break in the middle of the day. <coughs> so I'm going to kind of maybe take a leap from you folks and see how that, how the response is on that. Uh, our next meeting is <coughs> March 9th. Yes. Yeah, which is Thursday. A, uh, Thursday. And some of y'all may know me as working at the Children's Center. I'm now the mayor of BP uh, for the chamber, so um, got into that one. Say no fast enough. They said they needed some young blood, and I was like, there was big hands. So anyway, being involved with the community as I am already, I just thought it was you know, inevitable. So. But yeah, we're trying to make it more accommodating for more people to attend. What time on Thursday? Yeah. 5.30. Uh, 5 30. It's an evening. And we'll be um, at the library. Right now we've been fighting um, <clears throat> echo rooms. This one is not so bad, but the, the ones that they were having at anybody with any hearing problems oh, good had God. no idea what I'm like, okay, we've got to move around to see. Trying to find a good place right now. So. Good. Well, thank you. I'm so glad to have you here. Yeah, this one is more echoey right now because we moved a lot of stuff out of it for the market we had in November. So, not as much furniture and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
This is lovely. It's kind of great acoustics. Thank you. Come visit. Okay. Is there anything else that we have to address? Well, I would, oh, I would mind saying something. Uh, I, I think there's things being said again about the chamber having control over uh, things in the area, which is ridiculous. Uh, Highway 50, Highway 34, changes that are going to be made, and these things are being announced in major meetings. And I would just really like, if you guys know who that is, just put a stop to it because it's, it's not true and we don't need that out in the community. We, as the Chamber of Commerce, have no, absolutely <coughs> zero control over what happens on the highway, what happens at the lake, what happens in the city. And I just think it's, it's really important for people to take that in mind and not spread those kind of rumors that are not true. I agree. Thank you. Anybody else? I just want to say thank you guys for all your love and support for the past couple of months. Really, really appreciate it. So. And I know I've been absent, but I'm back. I'm not yeah, I'm always a busy woman, but then, you know, after the yeah. kick in the gut a few times. So yeah. I just want to say thank you to everyone. We really, really appreciate all the love and support and everything. Small time living is the best. Mm -hmm. It's the best. Oh, yeah. So oh, I have something to add. Um, if anyone knows of anyone who wants to sign up as a vendor for the 20 mile garage sale, please encourage them to go online, print out the form, they can fill it out, take a snapshot of it. They can do it all online. They can email that picture and pay online on the website and secure their spot. Because it's first come, first serve. Thank you. What do I fill out? How do I fill out a paint? I'll get with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it all down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you know any vendors that would like to, uh, please help get word out because she was an excellent job. We're really looking forward to the next garage sale. Uh, it's always a good success, and we appreciate everything you do, Cheryl. So, thank you. All right. Move to adjourn. Okay. Second. We just have to ask. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's remove the meeting. Nine forty-eight. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>